Folly's here, hear the yell, back to school, ring the bell, brand new shoes, walk in blues, climb the fence, books and pens, I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Hey there, I'm Hoosier Boo, and I'm in Preston, Idaho. I'm going to be visiting the Napoleon Dynamite filming locations. The 2004 movie, Napoleon Dynamite, is one of the best movies ever made. Um, and it was all filmed here in this little town of Preston, the town it takes place in. So pretty much every scene was filmed at different locations in this little town. Also, I feel like Napoleon Dynamite is like my movie reincarnation. Um, the humor behind the whole movie is like, it's so dry and awkward, but uh, that's so me. Because uh, I'm in high school like Napoleon, and I'm kind of at the bottom of the social hierarchy, trying to survive. Um, and I, I'm just like him in some ways in the personality. I'm very nerdy, obviously. That's why I've come out here to this little town in Idaho. I have the shirt and everything. So my first stop was going to be Napoleon's house, but look at this. I've been wanting to come here for years, and they're doing road work. Only at the house. Literally only at the house. You can see the house over there. That's Napoleon's house. So you're in the fields of potato land. Um, again, only this little section of the road is closed. I've driven for like 10 minutes all the way around to try to get to it. But I found out it is strictly right in front of the house the day I'm here, which is so angering. I just want to do whatever I want to. God. There are a lot of classic scenes there. Um, on this side of the house is where Tina the Fat Lard Llama it was. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Tina, eat. Eat the food. Eat the food! And this is the same road that the school bus came on. You can see it's actually gravel too. Um, and the school bus stopped right there. That's the famous scene where right here, old man Lyle was taking a very long time to shoot the cow. I loved how they took so long to uh, shoot that scene where he's like trying to load the gun and then the school bus comes, shoots the cow right in front of all the children. This is also where uh, he threw the steak at Napoleon riding the bike with Pedro. Watch this. Uh, what the heck are you doing? Oh man, I wish I could get up there closer. But that's the Napoleon Dynamite house, at least I got to see it from a distance. Um, now I'm going to head into town and see some other filming locations. There's a P on the side of that hill for Preston, a lot of towns in Idaho have that. And this is Preston Senior High School, where Napoleon and Pedro went to school. A lot of shots filmed in here. The building is actually very impressive for a small town that was also built in 1939. A lot of great shots, like uh, the dancing was in the auditorium. And that's inside the halls. The high school shots were filmed inside the building. I believe just around the corner is where Napoleon is calling Kip. Can you bring me my chapstick? No, Napoleon. But my lips hurt real bad. This is where Napoleon met Pedro. Pretty soon after they met, Pedro showed him his sledgehammer bike. What kind of bike do you have? It's a sledgehammer. Dang. You got shocks, pegs, lucky. And this is the original bike rack, still in about the exact same location. And this was Pedro's house. And it was right here that they built the ramp and they were doing sick bike stunts. You 
You got like three feet of air that time. Can I try it really quick? Here in downtown State Street, Napoleon Stomping Grounds, is this abandoned building right here. If you kind of look at that uh, awning right there, you could recognize that this building was Rex Kwon Do. Since Kip wanted to learn to be a cage fighter, he uh, went to the orientation here and uh, it was pretty great. They have the windows and the door blocked off so you can't see inside for some reason even though it's an abandoned building. So downtown Preston has some historic buildings. Shouldn't be filming in the crosswalk. And that building right there is the Mormon thrift shop that Napoleon got his suit at. And it actually is a thrift shop. If you ain't got a skill or trade, then shut the hell up. My rhymes is like dropping your head on the a place called the Cutten Corral was mentioned in the movie and it is right there. It's a real place. And this is Poppin' Pins Lane. This is where Kip and Uncle Rico had their business strategy to start selling dinnerware in town so that Kip could bring La Fonda back out here to Preston. So the nice guy who was outside working here offered to let me come in. They're working on the place right now. But this is inside the bowling alley. And this is lane number six that they were playing on. And this right here was where they were sitting. And this is actually Uncle Rico's ball from the movie. We need like some name tags with our picture on it, all laminated and whatnot. I mean, we gotta look legit, man. And on the back side of Oakwood Elementary School is the tetherball pole that Napoleon and Deb were playing with at the ending scene of the movie. This is the exact angle, or at least one of them. That they shot from. This is still the same pull. Um, the tire is no longer here and there isn't a ball attached right now. So Pedro was right, my wildest dreams have come true. I visited the Napoleon Dynamite filming locations. Um, I love that movie. I tried to captivate the awkwardness of it in this video because I'm just like Napoleon Dynamite and just as awkward. Um, but anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I have a couple other filming locations that I've done if you're into that. And I have all sorts of other videos, so you should go check those out. And uh, please click off this video now.